what's up? I'm Jared from Max Bet Motors. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Uh, this video is probably going to be my favorite that I've done over the last few weeks. Sort of the inspiration and modification video. Uh, I had originally shot this and then most of the parts that wound up on my wish list um, from then have been purchased and installed. I'm getting ready to go to the Moscow Moto Dusty Lizard ride in Moab next week. And so it just kind of lit a fire to get all this stuff installed. And so I'm gonna shoot this in three parts today. The first of which is I'm gonna walk around and just kind of point to the products that I've added uh, just in case you're looking for inspiration. Second part, I'll go back around to those parts. I'm gonna talk about my general review, any installation tips, where I bought them, uh, and just go into some more general detail on it. Then third part, I'll just shoot a little more B-roll, throw some music to it in case you just wanna hear no talking and see a beautiful bike. So let's get into it and uh, we're gonna start looking at these accessories. All right, just a quick note uh, before we uh, get into more detail on this bike. If you're anything like me, you love the general just moto and adventure community. And I love the research and the wrenching on these bikes almost as much as I do riding them. So I am a simple YouTube guy. I want no career in this. I have a great career and this is just fun for me to shoot what I feel like um, is a video that I would wanna watch myself and, and pass on knowledge uh, the best way that I can. So if you get some inspiration out of this, if you like this, uh, drop me a comment, let me know. I would love to hear, I love the moto community and as I said, I'm going off to Dusty Lizard next week. So if you're gonna be there, hit me up. Um, I also will say on affiliate links, again, I don't want a career in this. I'm not going to do any of that. I will tell you uh, who helped me on the install and where I purchased these parts. But uh, my suggestion would be head over to Big Rock Moto. I think Ian has done one of the best jobs for the motorcycle community possible. So he has all his links in his video and I would love to see him get supported. So go check that out. And with that, let's just start looking at some of these parts. All right, let's get into it. So on the back here, this is the Perun Moto side luggage racks. It gets rid of the stock plastics, has a really cool look and uh, super functional, as well as the Perun large uh, rear rack. And this is the Moscow Moto Oxpox 5, Midas Enduro Trail XT tires, Rottweiler air intake, a little bit of bling from Nice CNC, Vanash Motorsports. Um, I believe that is the rear um, style number three brake tip, as well as the adventure pegs. I do have the Moose by AXP skid plate, uh, the poly skid plate, that's awesome. Uh, the Kriega seal savers. Up here, these are the Cycra Pro Bend CRM Ultra hand guards. Those things are great. Garmin Zumo XT, powered in off of an ash mount. Uh, this is the Moscow Moto Nap Bag. Works really nice as well. Vanash Motorsports. Uh, one inch riser along with their uh, mounting plate for the off-road uh, Scott steering damper. Vanash fuel filler. Double take mirror, scrambler edition with the XL ram mount arm. I normally have a Puige uh, low windscreen up there. The thing is super cool, um, but I was doing some aggressive stuff uh, this weekend um, and didn't want to, didn't really need it, honestly. So, um, but those are, those are pretty cool as well. Um, over here, this would be the Vanash uh, sprocket guard, uh, the other adventure foot peg, obviously. And then, uh, that is a Kriega US 5 bag. So those are kind of the quick hits of stuff that's been done to this bike. Now let's jump into a little more detail on it. All right, let's just get going back here. Um, I'm gonna do uh, another BDR loadout video 
uh, in June when me and my guys go uh, to South Dakota to do the BDRX. Um, I ultimately have really slimmed down my luggage. This is the Perun Moto um, large rear rack, uh, and then you can get the side rail uh, luggage parts as well. The two bags I've went with is the Moscow Moto, the Oxpox 5 liter. What I like about this is it's waterproof, and ultimately this pulls out in like two seconds without needing to remove any of the straps. This whole thing stays affixed and then this interior part comes out. The Krika US5 is really cool, but in order to get at the bag, you have to take the lashing straps off, which I just got on Amazon, nothing serious. Um, so that bag I don't get in that often. That's basically gonna have my spare tube, an air compressor, uh, a tool roll, mud removal kit, all that sort of you know general stuff. And so those are the two bags that I went with. Um, shop around when you're doing this kind of stuff. Uh, sometimes prune can be a little bit expensive. So here would be my suggestion. I would go to a place like Vinash. They, they have all this stuff. So you could basically buy these parts for no tax and free shipping. Um, so get smart about it. Shop around on Black Friday. There's enough holidays going on here in the US, it seems, where there's always deals being run. So shop around for the parts. Uh, I Ultimately, I build a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet and I list all my parts in there that I'm wanting. So when I go to a store, I just kind of check where can I get the most uh, bang for my buck and get those things in. Uh, I worked with Bert over at Tugger Straps. Um, being a dirt bike guy, I was familiar with this, but ultimately the grab handles were just too big and in the way for this setup and I just did not like it. So um, he was awesome. He worked with me. I wound up just um, using some of the mounting points uh, on the Perun um, side luggage racks and it's been a great setup so far. If you've been looking at tires at all in the Adventure Moto segment, it'd be hard to miss the Midas Enduro Trail XT Plus tires. Um, they've been fantastic so far. I think they will probably get maybe 4,000 miles or so out of them. Uh, these are the Dakar version, double yellow stripes, and uh, found a distributor on the West Coast. Cut me a great deal and have absolutely loved uh, those tires so far. Uh, little bling parts, man grab those from nice CNC, that's fine. I apologize, this is still a little dirty. I had an absolute banger of a weekend in Arkansas this weekend and the bike was fully in the drink and got a lot of mud on it. Um, Vinash, gosh, you just can't say enough good about that company. Those guys, I, I love them so much. Andrew over there is just, uh, just develops and makes some of the coolest products ever. So if you're wearing boots like Tech Sevens or something like that, you're probably gonna want a, a brake tip with more feel definitely would do that. Uh, these are the adventure pegs. They are massive. I actually replaced them over even the power parts um, rally pegs and they've been great. Uh, the AXP by Moose, probably 300 bucks or so. You can find those from, you know, a number of places. I love how how easy they are on the weight of this bike and they just slide right over the rocks. So I don't hear a lot of reliability issues from those things. It seems like it's been uh, pretty good for most people, which is awesome. So um, love those for sure. These are an absolute pain in the butt. I don't know why it just took me a while to figure out what works, what I should order. Um, so again, these are the CRM Ultra uh, Pro Bend handguards from Cycra. You're gonna see some people, and originally I even thought I was gonna need spacers. Um, this bike does not need spacers. So they installed great. I think they look real sporty and match the look of this bike. Uh, just, just excellent. So I would go with that easy. The Vanash GPS uh, mount, that thing's gonna be great. And I'm gonna drop a comment with just a few uh, channels that I watch for just general installation and stuff. There is a guy out there that has an incredible video 
Um, he's actually putting the Cyclops lights on, but he, he talks about how to get the headlight off and this whole side fairing off, which is something you are gonna have to do if you would like to power um, that thing. It is crazy. I'll also flash up a picture here of just the wiring diagram. That's really helpful just to know what um, AC1 and AC2 do. So I will drop that uh, for you guys here. The Moscow bag, the Nat bag, that thing is incredible. I, I, I never wanted tank bags or anything like it, but my goodness, that thing has just been so good. I, I keep a lot of just my daily running stuff, uh, things in there. That's kind of what it looks like uh, size-wise uh, on this bike. It's been good, and of course, it is hiding the Vanash mount and Scott steering damper. <laughs> so I forgot that in the beginning part. Um, really easy install. Uh, Scott's is amazing. They do make an on-road and an off-road version. So I ordered it straight from Vanash as a kit. Uh, came with the one-inch riser. I loved it. I'm 6'2". It opened up my cockpit a little more. Um, and yeah, I just think they... I just think they've done the best job with that. It was around $550 for the full kit. If you ride any sort of sand, get one of these things. Uh, if you ride a lot of chunky stuff and you are at risk of the handlebars getting just ripped out of your hands, get one of these. That's what they are for. Um, they really help out. I was not planning on doing the Vanash fuel filler for a while, but on some rides I was getting um, absolutely sprayed with gas when I opened up the gas tank as well as I cannot um, use the key anymore with the Scots and this bag setup so again for 150 bucks that product is absolutely amazing uh, 10 of 10 would recommend uh, that for sure uh, Cyclops lights is one of the only things I think I'm going to put on here, the Aurora version. Uh, they're just amazing. I really like those. They got a good DRL ring uh, to use as a turn signal and whatnot. So uh, double take mirrors, you can find those just about anywhere. Uh, yeah, those things are, are good. Uh, sprocket guard, if you're riding a lot of mud or stuff like that, man, I would, I would definitely put one on. I think it just really helps for cleaning it out and won't get your, your chain all jammed up. Um, Rottweiler is who sells, uh, or who I found the easiest to find what sprocket I needed for this bike. Um, compared to other motorcycles that I've ridden, this bike has a really low idle and so it likes to die if um, you're just kind of tractoring up something. So uh, the 15 tooth uh, sprocket dramatically improves the off-road riding. So if you get a chance to do that, go for it. Um, the adventure pegs, yeah, this side. So yeah, some fun stuff going on on this bike. Last few things to kind of mention here. Um, I do have the anti-gravity uh, 10 variant lithium ion battery under there. I would go to livethenar.com. Those guys were amazing. Uh, I think I got it shipped to me in two days. And it was $175.99 shipped. That was the cheapest I could find anywhere. They were great. Um, Rottweiler, of course, they need no introduction. Everything those guys seem to touch is just magic. Uh, their air intake system is incredible. I love doing the install. There's a few guys who had installed videos from their company as well as back in the garage. Um, really helped me. It was, I just took my time. It was, it was fun to um, install this whole thing. And honestly, you could get one of the twin air covers off of Amazon, but that thing is just gonna be the easiest thing in the world to um, change out, especially if you're doing, you know, a lot of dusty and mud conditions and, and things like that. So those products have been amazing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed just a few videos I've shot on this uh, 2024 Rally variant. Uh, it's been such a great bike so far. Just turned 1,000 miles, ready to take it to Utah next week. It's just going to be so much fun. So, um, yeah, if there's products you think I should check out, leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what you liked on this thing. Um, hopefully it's been 
um, fun for you to watch and giving you some general inspiration for your own build. I do think that KTM has just done the most amazing job with this platform because ultimately they say ready to race, I say ready to wreck. Uh, I love the fact that I don't have to put monkey bars all over this thing and weight it down. I mean, from the first day I got it, I was already dropping weight, not adding weight to it. And it's just been such a great platform. There's, there's a lot of incredible parts that aren't super hard to install, aren't crazy expensive and have just worked out awesome. So thanks very much to KTM for that. And yeah, enjoy some B-roll.